यो वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू अनादर वीडियो सेफ्रॉन इज बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट आई एम प्लेइंग जी टी एफ फाइव ऑन न्यू एम्यूलेटर विच इज द गेम फ्यूचर एम्यूलेटर लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल आर सेंग दैट दिस एम्यूलेटर इज एक्चुअली द ग्रेटेस्ट एम्यूलेटर ऑफ ऑल टाइम बिकॉज इट विल गोइंग टू गिव यू अमेजिंग परफॉर्मेंस अमेजिंग एफ पी एस इन योर गेम बट आई ट्राइड दिस एम्यूलेटर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो ऑन माई पोको एफ सिक्स विच हैज Snapdragon 8 is Gen 3 and it was not that great emulator because it was giving me only 14 to 20 fps in GTA 4 where in win later emulator we used to get 30 40 fps easy easy on win later latest version so i think this emulator might not be that great emulator but we will going to try this emulator in this video and also i am going to tell you what settings you should choose on your phone we will going to set up this emulator on our phone trust me this emulator is very good in compatibility wise because i ran it the amazing spiderman 2 on this game where that game is not supported in my win emulator so that was the great compatibility update for me because that emulator was able to run the amazing spiderman to i know that uh, the fps was wasn't that much good but still it was giving me amazing experience and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe the channel and also turn on the bell notification icon to get the future updates because on this channel you will always get gta related and emulation related videos so yeah let's start so first of all you have to open game hub application which is your game fusion and so exciting emulator so uh, it's uh, first of all no you need to sign up with your google account when you sign in with your uh, sign up with your google account no what you need to do is to click an emoji for your profile you are very new new profile no you have to select a emoji for your profile so um i'm going to select the my favorite emoji and i don't actually know what is my favorite emoji but uh, Mm -hmm. I would select this hundred percent, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, let's continue by clicking here, and now, uh, it's it's showing us enter a game hub display name. So okay, display name. It's it would be always our Mr. Saffron, bro. Let's type it, Mr. Saffron. Um, yeah, Mr. Saffron YT. Now it's looking classic. Oh my God, we can't. We can't exit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to eight words. Okay, it's fine then. Just click on the this option A option here. Launch game to ensure game sir game controller games um properly. You need to enable the following feature. Okay, let's enable this feature to you know. Yes, so stay up to date. Uh, yes, I would go with the up to date notification. Save video clips. No, I don't want to save any clips for now. so just proceed later now you can see that we have opened our container okay N click on this blue button option here it's in chinese language i don't know but yeah you can see all the games right here but it's not you can not play these game because these are actually online games no let's try to play gta 5 here uh, can we play gta 5 here uh, i think uh, we we have to buy this bro as far as i know but no it's it's showing like okay so we can click on this add button option here let's click on the add okay we have to streaming computer id okay so if you want to stream gta 5 so you can you know type your uh, streaming computer so that you can stream gta 5 or any game that you want to but uh, so basically it's a moonlight supported okay so if you are playing gta 5 on your pc and then you can actually you know uh, stream that game in your phone through this app so go back and to open gta 5 from your phone which is the offline game right you have to click on your profile uh not okay profile when you click on the profile no you have to click on the game button when you click on the game button no uh here you can see the no game available is showing but you can add by clicking here i guess no okay Uh, so just click on this option here pc option here and then click on this plus button option here now just give it the permission to manage files and come back now uh, it it showing your file manager you have to go to your gta 5 location i have installed the gta 5 in download folder and the pc games folder and here you can see gta 5 i have installed all games like other games also like the spider man amazing 2 but for now we will going to try gta 5 click on the gta 5 and now you can see the launcher here 
okay all the files also here but we want launcher to run this game now so just click on the launcher gd5 launcher.exe and click on the select file now it's showing to confirm this okay so we want to confirm bro uh, okay just confirmed it and now you can see it will going to download your form and your wine automatically okay Auto, okay so it's so amazing bro you know you don't need to download anything manually it will just download all the uh, necessary files according to your phone itself you just need to connect your phone to the internet when you click to the like when you connect your phone to the internet it will going to download all the other thing and also the most important thing about this is you you don't need to change your settings it will automatically change your settings according to your device which will going to give you amazing performance according to your device which uses your phone at full potential so i actually like this thing bro so let's wait for it to download all these things now it has already downloaded all the necessary things within just two minutes and now just click on this computer uh, monitor option here now you can see your gta 5 is here bro so excited to play just click on this setup now it's showing uh, just click on the double option okay just double click on this uh what you need to do is to just click on the play option here play now oh my god so excited to play play now and it is going to you know check your virtual environment and all these things and then in is uh, okay now it has set all the settings by default and so excited to play bro it's looking so crazy it's giving so professional vibe and so excited to play though so yeah uh, just wait for it to load now you can see we got this mouse option here or and our gta 5 is also running bro so crazy and uh, i can't see the fps bro okay i see you can see okay dxvk you can see the fps bro so let me increase the sound and we can't see the controls bro how we can see okay uh it's input mapping uh basically you can also click on this input mapping and it will going to uh, enable your uh, controls bro the controls that is it is giving also very professional bro uh just click on these uh, let's see other settings also hdr you can also enable hdr and uh okay some settings are also here uh yeah full screen let's click on the full screen to get the full screen now you can see your screen uh, screen is full just like a win later we used to get now uh, the controls is actually very new to me so yeah just wait for it I didn't change any settings guys okay I did not change any setting for now just keep it all default and let's see how much performance we will going to get you can see the game has open now finally it's running at 17 f 16 15 fps uh at prologue okay uh since i am also recording now the fps is likely dropping so yeah but it's actually running bro gt5 is actually running with you know new controls and everything is new bro okay yeah don't even think about it get in there sit tight Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just killed him, bro. I, 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 I didn't have any intention to kill, bro. We can also change some of the settings, uh, right here. Uh, let me change some of the settings here, and then we will going to, you know, restart the game so that we can get some improvement right here. The game is running at 720p, which is good. Okay, and we are having this refresh rate of 120 hertz, which is also nice because in will later we used to get only 60 fps uh, refresh hertz support. So it's also crazy, bro. Uh, so let's see some of the settings. All the settings are at normal. Okay, then it's good though. Then it's all okay. Then it's all okay. Um, yeah, then it's all okay, bro. Without having any issue. Just click on this X button here to apply all the settings. Now we have applied all the settings. Go back. Uh, all the settings are actually good. But let's try to change some of the settings right here. So I would like to exit the game. Now we have exit the game. Go to the game setting. And when you click on the game setting, now you will get everything about the settings. Now you can see the direct X hub 
environment variables command line you are also getting compatibility now it's a very important setup right so you are getting the latest uh, like a turnip driver 25.0.0 r6 you can also set to the system driver and uh, here are some other turning driver also so i would go with the system driver for now just to you know just to see the difference compatibility layer uh, it should be 9.5.9.5 .9 it's i think good for me okay 9.5 point uh into 64 is good for me and okay the audio driver should be pulse driver and dx week you can see i have set it it to the 1.10.3 uh, async and the other settings are to be set at the default now we are good to go let's see the controls over here you can also uh you know just just enable this uh d input and the x con xbox control layout now we are good to go bro actually now uh, i think it's all good for now and let's open the gta5 for now play now start initializing environment okay now we are ready to go bro now the game is running and we are getting uh, 47 fps at loading uh okay it's okay like 51 fps also good now you can see the game is running uh actually good because i'm recording this gameplay also so the fps is actually dropping but no worries your phone in your phone is going to you know give you some extra fps as usual and the most important thing i like the game fusion let's talk this let's talk about this later but let's complete this mission first of all and i even run the amazing spider-man on this emulator it was running without having any problem bro slide right to the input mapping and you will see you can even run 32 bit of games bro it was crazy just make it full screen bro full screen now we are getting full screen uh, gameplay experience of amazing spider-man 2 bro i was so excited to play it just just uh press the play button where is the play button bro i'm not familiar with this controls um let me click the random button bro okay now yeah we are uh, good to go we are even getting uh, 50 fps just click on the new game hero mode i would say uh yeah hero mode now so excited to play okay with great powers uh amazing spider-man 2 welcome bro i was so excited to play uh, this game in my phone bro now just click on the enter option to load this game now you can see game is loading finally and we are getting um, 7 fps 11 fps for now let's see how much fps we will get in uh, in upcoming minutes Ben was my rock and, and I played GTA 4 on 8 and I saw like not that big difference in FPS. I was getting like uh, 20 FPS, uh, 50, uh, 20 FPS, 14 FPS. And in Will later, I used to get, you know, uh, 50 FPS, 40 FPS. So uh, I think that this emulator might not great for some devices but for the very high-end de high devices I would actually recommend that emulator but all right that was the uh, final video hope you found this video so helpful and if you found this so video helpful make sure to like and subscribe the channel and also turn on the bell notification icon to get the new updates on emulation I'll meet you in the next video till then bye guys